Today, MTD CNC are at Star GB Micronics in Derby. We're at their head office, their new head office, and we've come to look at machines that are available in stock. And the machine in question here is the SR38 Type B. This is a guide bush and a non-guide bush machine. You can go from one to the other. And as you can see here, it's quite an extensive machine when it comes to its capability. So the SR38 Type B does actually have a bar capacity of 38 millimeters, but if you want to use it in the non-guide bush form, you can uh, hold up to 42 millimeter diameter bar, which is pretty much unheard of in the sliding head arena. So you imagine if you're currently using maybe fixed head technology on uh, or a two inch bar fixed head machine, this actually is only 10 millimeters uh, less in diameter of bar, you can actually then get the benefits of a sliding head lathe that we've got here. Now the machine itself does have a full B axis on it, a live B axis, which uh, can machine both on the back and the working and the front working spindle, and it can also contour as well. You've got from 0 to 135 degrees, so you can actually go 90 degrees past centre as well, which means of course you can tackle angles on the back spindle as well as the front spindle. So I counted 17 tools working on the front spindle here on this machine. That's 17 tools. And on the back, we have eight independent tool stations that can be driven tools or can offer driven tool capability up to 6,000 RPM. And it also has a Y-axis on the back working tools as well. So it gives you maximum flexibility for your milling. So what length of part could you turn on this machine? Well, here's an example. If you've got the machine in a guide bush format, you can actually turn uh, turning length in one chuck of up to 320 mil. So that's 320 millimeters of stroke. And you can see here, this is a good example of, of a part that's uh, a longer part that's been turned on this type of machine. Now, if you're looking at shorter parts, if we take a quick look at this component, the idea behind the machine with having uh, lots of tools and the B axis and the driven tools on the back end means you can machine more complex parts. And here's an example of a part that has been, or has used the B axis on this machine to do angled holes on back faces. You can also see that you've got a lot of features turned and milled and drilled on this part that have all been done in one cycle on this machine. Can you imagine making a component like this without a machine of this complexity? You could be talking about using two or three different machines. And with that, you can introduce the possibilities of the inaccuracies, but also you're gonna increase the cycle time extensively. So this machine is about reducing cycle times on complex parts such as this, and actually turning longer components as we've seen here. And if anyone was to question the stability of a machine of this nature, you can actually see by looking at the, the, the nature of the way the machine's built, it's a fully cast machine, it weighs over four and or just under four and a half tons. And a part like this, which is actually a stainless steel component, has been machined as a result of the stability of this sliding head lathe. And how about the power of the machine when you are hitting harder materials? Well, on this machine, you have 11 kilowatts of power on the main spindle and five and a half kilowatts on the sub. And also with this package, you also get the AMIST, which is premium air filtration system to help you with your production and keep your, your working environment healthy and clean. Now, as you can imagine, when you're machining components in the non-guide bush format, you do need a lot of security in your work holding if the bar diameters are getting towards the 42 millimeters. And with this machine, you actually have a hydraulic collet cylinder on the front, which improves the work holding. So it's got a higher pressure clamping. So you can hit the larger diameter bars. Now, how about the speed of the spindles? Well, on the front, you've got 7,000 RPM, and on the back, you've also got 7,000 RPM. And the beauty of this type of machine as well is that you can actually perform balance turning. You can, you can, you can rough and finish at the same time using the configurations of the tools that we have in this machine, in this SR38 Type B. And then what about the power tools? This is important for your milling functions. You can actually machine up to 6,000 RPM on the driven tools on this machine. And I think what is important to stress with this machine that is available here from stock is that you can actually, or you do actually have 12 working axes on this machine. So you can imagine, again, I refer back to this component, that you can machine complex components in one hit as a result of having those 12 machining axes. 
Some of the other points that we need to talk about on this machine include that when you're looking at production, you need things like parts conveyors. Here you have that as standard on this SR38 Type B. Also, of course, a parts catcher. And also from an automation perspective here, we have an FMB turbo bar feed unit that is fully interfaced with the machine. So the machine is ready to go and hit the deck and do lights out running on complex components. Accessibility to the machine, it's very good. Very, very well laid out, lots of light and lots of space, again, which is important to be able to see into the machine. This machine is also driven by a FANUC control. This is a FANUC Series 31i model B5 control, the latest, one of the latest FANUC versions of control system. So as we said, as we've come here today to look at this machine, it's available from stock. There is a few machines here in stock. Why are you going to choose a machine of this nature? Well, really, if you're looking at your parts in your machine shop and you're starting to think, well, actually, we are having to move them around the machine shop to do lots of different operations to complete the part, it would be ideal to be able to put the bar in the machine and have a finished component in one hit and to be able to leave it running on the overnight run so you can reduce the labour intervention on your component manufacturer, then this SR38 Type B is an option for you. And don't forget, in the non-guide bush mode, you can go up to 42 millimetres. So you've just bought this slide-in head lathe, haven't you, from Star? Yep. Is this one of your, how many machines have you got from these guys? Or is this, this, is, this is the first one we're, uh, we're purchasing. We're hoping to, to have two, two or three in the next year or so. And what was the reason behind your selection of the machine? Um, a package with one from um, quite a big customer, uh, Airbus. Uh, we've won uh, a big selection of parts from that, small turning parts, and uh, feel that this machine's ideal for that. What, sort what, of what did you actually like about this machine? Because there are plenty of options when it comes to sliding head machines around, aren't there? And, and, and Star is obviously probably one of the biggest, if not yeah. the biggest. What, what, why did you go down this path? I think it was uh, with the reputation of the company, like you say. They, they, they specialise in this type of machine uh, and, the, and the versatility of them as well. We've obviously got the, the B-axis, the C-axis. Because we've just reviewed this and that B-axis is quite an integral, uh, in fe uh, an integral feature if you're doing complex yeah. parts. Are you doing off-centre holes and milled flats? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's, that's the plan. That's the plan. And do you use it in the non-guide bush format and the guide bush or just one? We will be using it in both. both. And, and that would mean then you can go up to 42mm yeah, bar? 42 mil diameter bar, yeah. Was that a big attraction? It was, yeah, because obviously um, a lot of the sliding heads, um, they don't go to that sort of bar size, do they? So, so you can go up to the 42 mil bar, and on the back of the machine, on the, the, the back working tools, you've got eight working tools, but you've also got a Y-axis, so you've got yeah. flexibility there. Yeah, there is a lot of flexibility, a lot of flexibility. So this could be the first of many, maybe, star sliding head lathes in your machine shop. Thank you very much, Adam. Thank you very much.